Eight small carpal bones form the carpus. Distal to the carpus are the metacarpal bones, numbered one, two, three, four, and five. The carpal bones are in two rows, a proximal and a distal. The bones in each row are attached closely to one another. The four bones of the proximal row are the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquetral, and the pisiform, which sits by itself on the triquetral. The scaphoid, the lunate, and part of the triquetral articulate with the distal end of the radius to form the radiocarpal joint. The distal surface of the proximal row articulate with the distal end of the radius to form the radiocarpal joint. The distal surface of the proximal row forms a deeply concave notch which the bones of the distal row fit into. The bones of the distal row are the trapezium, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. The capitate and part of the hamate project proximally. The bases of the five metacarpals articulate with the distal row of carpal bones. The first, the one for the thumb, articulates by itself with the trapezium. The other four articulates in a row here. The distal row of carpal bones articulates with the proximal row here to form the midcarpal joint. Here are the eight carpal bones, and here are the five metacarpals. Each finger has a proximal phalanx, a middle phalanx, and a distal phalanx. The thumb just has two phalanges, a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. The joints of the hand have long names. The joints between the carpus and the metacarpals are the carpometacarpal joints. The joints between the metacarpals and the proximal phalanges are the metacarpophalangeal joints. The joints between the phalanges are the interphalangeal joints, proximal and distal. We'll often refer to these joints as CMC joints, MP joints, and IP joints for short.